Hello. Okay, doing a urgent documentary. Today is July 23rd, 22nd. July 22nd, the year 2020. Since March, approximately March uh, 14, 13, something like that. Actually, March 13th, because it was uh, Friday the 13th that everything started. For the past four months, I have been going back and forth uh, into the office by myself, working alone in an office for four months while all of my coworkers uh, are working from home. Due to the COVID-19 global pandemic, which has caused stress and fear global-wide, causing people to panic and uh, completely lose all common sense whatsoever. Uh, when it first started, there was nothing but complete fear going on around the country. People ripping toilet paper off the shelves inside the stores and supplies were greatly reduced at the stores themselves. <coughs> it has been an absolute nightmare uh, since March due to the fact that uh, the information pouring out of the media, media yeah. uh, has caused heightened fear, anxiety, worry, whatever you want to call it, uh, across the nation. Okay, I'm making this video for historical purposes because I'm documenting. I decided just now to document uh, what has been going on so I can go back, or anybody can go back for that matter, and hear from somebody who was there <laughs> who experienced uh, this uh, once, once in a lifetime insanity yeah. um, going on. So. March 13th, everything started shutting down. They shut down airlines. Uh, they shut down anybody coming in from Europe, anybody leaving the United States, anybody coming in from China, you're, you're not allowed to enter the United States. Canada has since closed their border. We, we live about, we live on the other side of Ontario across Lake Erie. Uh, it's about a four hour drive around over to Windsor where we have family and we can't go see them. We can't go into Canada. They can't come into the U.S. Uh, right now. Uh, commerce only. So there's only uh, trucking companies going in and out of Canada, in and out of the U.S. so far for the past four months. Uh, people are still working from home. Um, let's see. Did I miss anything? Uh, I meant supplies have been Hyper, short. Hyperinflation. Uh, we are seeing rising prices across the board as far as food and toilet paper. Uh, eight pack roll of to toilet paper is about fifteen bucks in some stores. Uh, <laughs> it used to be what four, five dot five bucks. It used to be five bucks. It's now fifteen in a lot of places. You might find it for five dollars uh, in some places, but it's going to at least be floating around ten bucks for toilet paper. Um, there has been a meat shortage, uh, so called meat shortage. Uh, for the past four months, we're just now getting caught back up since it is July. It is middle, uh, ag, uh, you know, end of July, last two weeks of July that we're in right now. Uh, there has been uh, chicken short chicken shortages across the area and country, uh, but there's been a backlog of supplies. There's actually farmers that have culled their flocks and culled their uh, pork pork herds and. Cattle herds have been culled uh, over the past four months uh, out in the uh, plain states in ranches and farms of those raising that type of uh, uh, product for market. So that's been an absolute uh, disappointing array of uh, shenanigans. Um, let's see what else is going on. Uh, we've had uh, since then up until July, we've had numerous companies around around the uh, country file for bankruptcy. Uh, there is uh, unemployment is the highest since it's been since 1929. 
since the Great Depression. Uh, up until this year, we were going through the uh, greatest, we had the greatest economy we've had in the United States uh, in uh, all time. So, uh, at, the, at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, in the first week, I lost $20,000 in the first week during the uh, start of the pandemic when everything started shutting down. Uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, there was little information known about the actual virus, uh, or how it was contracted, or how it was spread. Uh, it, it's uh, uh, been a, a back and forth on information from the CDC, and uh, 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 they uh, still don't really know all the symptoms of the virus, and uh, who or what really is affected, but right now, as we learned of today, being July 22nd, uh, it has multiple, multiple lists of symptoms, and anybody can contract it. From, still- from infants up to 99 years old, anybody can contract this. It's call, uh, contracted via uh, sneezing, coughing, being around somebody who is breathing or singing, <laughs> Or, uh, you know, being, if you're around somebody who has COVID-19 and you are not protected uh, in a way that covers your own face and uh, your nose and mouth, you could contract it very easily. It's highly contagious, so we're being told. Still no no vaccine. There is no vaccine, of course. This is a new virus, is what they're telling us, uh, for the past four months. And uh, vaccines are being urgently uh, researched and uh, trials have begun in the production of a vaccine to assist with the current pandemic. Uh, Cases currently as of July 22nd today, 2020, cases are on the increase around the country in some areas. Uh, They have been increasing increasing here in Ohio apparently. And as of uh, just now, I just got the news before I started making this video that Ohio, here in Ohio, we are under a mandate as of 6 p.m. tomorrow, July 23rd. uh, The state has now, Governor DeWine, Mike DeWine, Governor Mike DeWine has issued a state mandate mask order. Uh, All public places you are required to wear a mask that covers your uh, face your nose and mouth. So that means all grocery stores, any store actually that you go into has to require a mask on your face. And nobody will take a vaccine from China. And uh, the vaccines that we are currently hearing about are possibly coming from China, but uh, I myself uh, will not be getting a vaccine. I've not been vaccinated um, against the flu or had gotten a flu shot in about 25 years. <clears throat> I have not had the flu at all. I don't trust anything from China. And plus, since this vaccine is being rushed to production, the, uh, the uh, risk involved in taking a vaccine like that is probably going to be greater than the severity of the potentiality of catching the said virus. To our knowledge, um, there are so many unknowns. Everybody is pretty much uh, <laughs> fed up with the whole situation scenario. Uh, the place that I work has expanded. No return to office for the rest of the folks who were working from home until October 5th. And uh, I have not seen my coworkers uh, since, uh, since March, since about March 16th. And again, it's currently July 22nd, 2020. I will not see them until October 5th. Uh, My thought is, is that's going to be pushed out further. And I don't expect anybody to be returning to the place that I work uh, until next year. That's my own opinion and thought. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, What we've been doing here at the homestead is uh, we have been continuing to stockpile uh, toilet paper and canned goods. And we are continuing to uh, keep away from all of the uh, big box stores where uh, people have uh, 
in the news, even gotten into fights of people trying to stop people going into a store that didn't have a mask on, even though it's not mandated and might not even be mandated by the store specifically, but those are going on. The news has been absolutely crazy. We, uh, hydrator. we have purchased a dehydrator, so some of the foods that we can get, we can start dehydrating, and uh, we also have canning supplies. So that's uh, a little bit more of a sum of where we're at. Uh, we're at the ten and a half minute mark on this video. Um, I am just home from work, playing a little banjo again. Everybody needs to can and dehydrate. Uh, but uh, anyway. there has been a spike in people buying canning supplies and getting ready and stockpiling things. We're seeing a slinky reaction inside of the supply chain on most food and uh, 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 paper essentials. Um, gas prices at the beginning of the pandemic went down to 97 cents a gallon. They were previously about 250, 260 a gallon prior to the pandemic. Uh, they did come back up from the 97 cent mark and currently we're back at about a $2 a gallon price on gasoline. Uh, and that's 87 octane gasoline. Um, uh, the uh, car dealerships have since been pretty much closed, uh, pretty much by appointment only. Uh, some of them have been reopened and are uh, seeing people. In. Things have been slowly opening. There's a plan to reopen the economy. Um, again, the unemployment rate is uh, extremely high, and uh, there really isn't much hope in any companies hiring right now. Uh, most people are on unemployment, and they since have, for the past four months, been receiving an extra $600 per month uh, extra stipend on top of the regular uh, unemployment to assist with uh, the pandemic uh, and money shortage of most uh, people at home. Uh, as far as money goes, there is a coin national coin shortage. So... Right now, as of today, again, July 22nd, 2020, there are many places who are no longer taking cash. Uh, they are card only, and uh, that's raised a lot of concern around the country regarding an cashless upcoming society. cashless society, Amen. Uh, which uh, we are uh, not sure how to handle as of yet. Uh, but again, this is just a reiteration of what's been going on around the United States and the world over the past four months. Uh, it's been an absolute whirlwind. During that time also, uh, there was a uh, national cri crisis of rioters and uh, so-called protesters uh, protesting the death of George Floyd, who, um, who died during a uh, uh, police stop uh, on site in Minneapolis, Minnesota, which was just a couple months ago. Since then, there have been outcries of racism across the country, uh, and uh, uh, there have been stat statues torn down around the country. There have been churches burned, pillaged, and plundered uh, around the country, and businesses. there have been businesses with uh, millions and millions of dollars uh, uh, damage reported. As of right now, Cleveland, Ohio, there were riot riots just an hour away north of here. Uh, which the damage was reported at six and a half million dollars done by uh, uh, done by rioters um, and looters uh, who thought that was a way to uh, uh, protest the death of uh, George Floyd, uh, which my in my opinion absolutely does nothing. But there again, I'm just telling you what is an update. So millions of dollars of damage caused by looters and rioters. Uh, during a pandemic, and uh, 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 there are back and forth sides, Democrat and Republican, back and forth. Black Lives uh, Matter. The Black Lives Matter movement, which nobody heard of prior to uh, the George Floyd incident. I'd never heard of it. Um, don't even know who those people were or anything. Uh, but I did research their website. As far as I could tell, they are uh, based on a communistic idea. All you have to do is read their website. If you have a brain, you'll read it and figure it out for yourself. That is, if you have a brain. Thank you and goodbye. 
on that matter. So that's going around. And uh, other than that, uh, everything's pretty much a whirlwind. Again, we just got the mandate uh, message here on the news about Ohio as of 6 p.m. tomorrow. All public spaces, you were required to wear a mask in public. So that's for everybody everywhere. Um, did I miss anything? <laughs> 15 and a half minutes, and that's the update. Uh, just chunking everything into one video, and I'm going to save this for a historical record. Uh, again, here in Ohio, northern Ohio, and uh, more updates to maybe come. But uh, I think it's pretty much for, uh, I pretty much speak for everybody when I say everybody's pretty much fed up with just about all this. So Stay that's safe. that. Okay.